Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Faces Tergist and welcome back to Sims 2. In this video we'll be talking about vampires, where you can find one, how to become one, and basically how to cure it as well. Now, uh, this is what a grand vampire look li looks like. <clears throat> I actually hit the lottery because it's a redhead and it, she's hot. But uh, that's beside the point. Now, basically, if you go to any lot at night, there's a chance that a grand vampire will spawn. Especially in nightclubs that were added in the nighttime expansion. Then, basically, what you need to do is basically get a high relationship with the grand vampire. And eventually, you will get bitten. As my sim here has gotten bitten. And basically you will become this thingamajig here. Uh, that is a process that takes a while because you will need to get a high relationship. And you will need to get in touch. But the most important fact is just to meet them. Because when you meet them you can invite them back to your house which is very important. Now, it seems to a vampire is basically nothing. It, uh, at night, your needs don't decay. And basically, you can fly around like an idiot and skulk around as well. There's basically no viable option, that, uh, a good reason to actually become a vampire, other than uh, never aging. But... In any case, that is how you become one. There we go. And once your sim is a vampire as well, you can actually turn uh, other sims into vampires as well. Now, I basically just had to kill, uh, kill her off. Because there is also another way that you can become a vampire, and that is by enabling cheats. So typing in bullprop, then space, testing cheats enabled, space, true. Then you can shift click on your uh, mailbox. Then you can make NPC, uh, no, uh, more, uh, make NPC. A uh, repo man, matchy leader, leader of the bank, grand vampire. And the grand vampire will appear. Then you can shift click on them and make them selectable. And that will actually get you a grand vampire in your house. There we go, go ahead and milk it. Ah. Yeah, in any case, unlock, lock, allow households only, unlock, lock, allow household only. It would appear that my sim is pregnant with an alien. Yeah, that happens when you make uh, a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, in any case, uh, I'm getting way off topic. In order to cure vampirism, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and call a service. And you're going to go ahead and go with the matchmaking services. Uh, exterminator, gardener, maid, nanny, obedience, general, pet, yeah, matchmaking services. Uh, do you require my... Yes. There we go. Which is perfect. And the gypsy will arrive pretty shortly. There she is. I greet her. And from her, you'll be able to buy the... Thingamajig. Hold on. Buy potion. Which be gone. Plantophopic. Uh, Vampircill in D. I'm gonna buy 10 of them. There we go, and I'm just going to dismiss her. 
Thank you very much. Then what you're going to want to do is go ahead in your inventory. Place one on the ground. Puff. Go ahead and drink it. Uh, teenage vampires can also get the undead scholarship, which will give them another 1,500 simoleons. In my personal opinion, there's really no no reason to become a vampire. Absolutely no reason. It's frivolous. I do believe that in Sims 4, it made sense to become a vampire. But in Sims 2, mm -mm. 